Okay, so this uh, last section, 10 or 11, 12, and 13, kind of goes through this side-scroller game of the, the frog jumping over the mushroom. Now, most of the elements to this game, we've already kind of gone through and we've figured out, but a lot of students have a lot of anxiety, a lot of difficulty in being able to piece everything together that you've done up until this point. Um, so, in the end, what you want is for the frog to be able to go up and then come back down and land on the land here. And you want this uh, mushroom to move across the screen and then when it gets to the end, come back to the beginning again and then move across again. And so the frog's just jumping over the, the mushroom as part of this called a uh, side scroller game. So you now have all the blocks you need to make your sprite jump. The sprite should jump if it's on the ground and the user presses the up key. Then should start moving back down when it reaches the top of its jump. Um, so they've set up a lot of this code already for you, but of course it's not functional yet. See, if I, if I run this code um, and I push the up arrow, nothing happens, nothing goes on. But you can see they've already put in a lot of what you need in order to be able to make this work. Uh, you just need to read the comments and follow the instructions they give you and you'll be able to get this to work uh, with no problems. So you're gonna find the if statement that checks whether the sprite is on the ground and look at the if statement inside of that, inside of it that checks whether the user has pressed the up arrow. And then you're going to make the frog jump up when the user presses the arrow key. Make the frog stop moving otherwise. So this is very similar to what we just did with the fish. Um, so that was back on um, number nine when we pushed the arrow and the fish moved. Once it reached the end, it turned around and came back to the side and then it stopped once it got to um, the other side. And we're doing the same thing here. We push an arrow key and it moves, goes up to a certain point and then it comes back um, change direction comes back down and then once it gets to the the ground it's going to stop so we need to put in three once again oh here we go three different um, velocity uh, changes we're going to change the velocity to have it move up change the velocity to have it come back down change the velocity to have it stop and all we have to do is follow the comments in order to get these to, to line up and to function the way that they're supposed to. So let's go ahead and dive right in and figure this out. So uh, if the frog dot y is greater than 324, so that means that on here you can see y is uh, 324 is kind of down here. So this is basically saying if the frog is on the ground, as it says, if the frog is on the ground, so if it's on the ground and the user presses the up arrow, we don't want it to do anything else if they push up at any other time. We only want it to react if it's back on the ground. Then when we push the up arrow, we want it to make the frog move up. And so in order to change the velocity of the frog and to make it move up, we go into sprite and we're going to have sprite.velocity y and we're going to move it up. Once again, please take note, we're not using the counter pattern anymore. We're not saying sprite.y equals sprite.y plus whatever. We're actually setting the velocity here. So our frog.velocityy, we want it to move up. So if it's at 400, or in this case, 324, and we want it to go towards zero, then it needs to be negative. So we're going to make this velocity y equal negative 2. We want it to move at a fairly decent clip. So if we um, go ahead and just run that, and I push up, it's going to go up. However, when does it come back down? We never set that up. And so that's what we have to keep going into the rest of the code here. Um, so... <clears throat> And so here's the other side of this. Well, uh, I guess we'll come back to it. So if the frog gets high enough, send it back down. So we need to determine where on the screen do we want this frog to um, start coming back down. So 
we're going to say we want it to get about here. So as you see, my, um, my cursor is showing that I'm at Y85. So we're going to say if on here, we'll put control. So it says add code that does the following. Checks whether the frog has reached its highest point. So that's my if. If the frog has reached the highest point, then we're going to make the sprite go back down. So um, we're going to check the location of the frog with the sprite.y. Oh, we have to compare it. So we need a math. So if sprite.y is less than, okay, because remember, it's negative. It's coming back here. So as soon as it hits that point, it gets less than that. Then it's going to turn around and come back down. We don't want to do an equals to because if we do a negative 2 and it somehow skips over the one number that we have is set equals to, it's going to keep going and it's never going to stop. So we want to do a less than instead. So um, we're going to do if frog.y right here. So frog.y is less than, and we said like 85. Okay, so yeah, about here. So yeah. 85 so somewhere around there okay uh if it gets high enough then we're going to send it back down so the way we send it back down is we have to change the direction of my velocity so in this case the negative has it go up so then the positive is going to have it go down so we've got to set our frog dot velocity y and we're going to make it a positive two if you want you can make it go up slow up slow and then come back down fast so we would increase it instead of being two we would make it a, a three or even a four so when i run it now and i push the up arrow it's going to go up until it reaches that 85 and then it's going to come back down now i haven't set it to stop so it's just going to keep coming back down and i think yeah so if i push the up and it's below the ground then it'll go back up but it'll always keep going up and down, up and down. I always have to push the up arrow. But we want it to stop once it gets to the ground. And so that's where in here, we're going to make the frog stop moving. So if the frog is on the ground and we haven't pushed the up arrow, we want the frog to stop. And so that's where in here, we're going to put our third um, adjustment to our velocity and this time since we don't want it to move we're going to set that equal to zero and so now when i run my program and i push my up arrow the frog's going to go up until it hits 85 going to come back down and then once it gets to the ground it's going to stop and it's going to stay there and wait until i push the up arrow again and then it's going to jump once again and you can manipulate and you can change. If you don't want it to go that high, then you can adjust the 85 to be a different number. If you want it to go up faster and come back down faster, then you don't have to use the 2. You can use a negative 3 or a negative 4 um, so that it's going to react a little quicker. Um, so this then is just the first part of our side scroller thing is to be able to get our frog to jump up and down. Now, in the next part, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and figure out how to get the mushroom to move. So if I hit finish here and I go to the next part, this is where we start introducing something for it to jump over. Now you need something for your sprite to jump over, and that's going to be in the next recording.